Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Cliff with Pan Flamingo Power Wash. Back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're working in Lando Lakes, Florida. We're here for a house wash. Um, customer here called me about maybe a couple weeks ago. We set this up. A couple of jobs on the schedule today. We're probably gonna do, probably gonna do like three of them today, man. Uh, we're getting a late start on the day right now. It's like 1.30. Um, man, I appreciate y'all all the support I get from the channel. Uh, almost at 6,000 subscribers. I'm gonna do special for uh, 6,000, just like I did for 5,000. But I'm gonna let, let y'all know way ahead of time, man. So I'm gonna be giving up probably, let's do let's do a pair of hook boots, man. We're gonna do that for six uh, 6,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all know how to enter. So I'm saying it's more, so it's more easier. So everybody know what, what they gotta do, man. So we're here for this house wash. I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on. Small house. But we got a lot of dirty um, soffits and um, exterior gutters. Back here, these windows are pretty bad. See how bad these windows are. We're gonna be using our downstream injector to clean these um, dirty spots. Kinda hot out here, man. Look at this big field back here. Um, we're not going inside of there, but we're all gonna clean the exterior of this uh, lanai. Get all that cleaned up. Before I start, I'm gonna water these plants down. Look like she got some mulch and stuff. She trying to take care of this area back here. So, gonna clean that up. I might just go ahead and throw in this fence for her while I'm downstreaming, get rid of that. Got some heavy mold. But um, for the most part, the rest of the house don't look that bad. Mainly least the soffits on this side. Uh, we're not doing a driveway at this property here. And the car doesn't move. <laughs> the car doesn't move, guys. So pressure washing police. Y'all hold off on me a little bit. <laughs> I am going to wet the car down before, uh, during and after. To make sure I don't, have, I don't leave no spots on it. But um, pretty much straightforward house wash. All right, so I'm gonna time myself. See how long it's gonna take. Let me see what time it is right now. It's uh, it's 1:17 right now. So let's see how long it takes to finish this house wash. Like I said, man, it's hot out here today. So therefore, we're gonna protect everything. Get everything nice and wet before we start. Palm trees are resilient, man, but I still wet them down just to make sure. I mean, uh, the house stream. I got the house downstream. Stains over here was pretty bad. Of course, we're gonna let that dwell for a little bit while we go back the other way and start rinsing. Check out this side here. Same thing over here. A lot of dirt, algae right on the on the edges. Gonna let that sit for a little bit. And wrap back around here. Let's see how that fence looking. I downstreamed it. Just gotta rinse it.
we're gonna get the front down, the front side a good rinse. Rinse that stucco really well. Using my pen tip. Uh, on the AGP on the AGPM J rod, so that's a 2550. 2550 tip. It's also my soap tip. But you don't need that much pressure to rinse. Sometimes you do on the gutters. You might need a little bit more pressure. You can use a different tip. But usually this trip, this tip right here does the trick. I'm rinsing the car down. We downstreaming so the mix is not that strong, but still gotta protect everything, man. Majority of the jobs you do. <laughs> Usually the more time consuming things are uh, watering plants down and stuff like that. That usually takes most of the time for me at least. Got some mud daubers over there. Down the plants while you at it. One more side of rinse, baby. Let's go. Let's take a look. We all done. Soffit's looking good. Got the master windows cleaned up over here. Doing my walk around, make sure everything looking right. I did that fence for her. No charge. Didn't take that long. I don't know if she want to be looking at that, but she. And her lanai got the dirty dirty stuff that was up here yes sir all right man we're gonna pack it up well actually we already packed up we're gonna head to the second job i'll see y'all when i get there let's go all right man we got paid i don't know if y'all what y'all use man i use uh i use quickbooks so they got this um little gadget here car reader Makes it easy, man, to get payments. It's for the customers that do want to use um, debit cards. You know, I take them all, man. I take Venmo, PayPal, Zelle, Cash App, checks, cash, whatever. So, make it easy on them, man. Get that money. No excuses. <laughs> all right, man. See y'all on the next job. Well, <laughs> the last client was not home. Couldn't get in. So, on to the next, man. On to the next. I'm gonna try to do two more. I'm gonna try to see if I can push one of tomorrow's uh, appointments to today so I can knock that one out. So, we're gonna head up to uh, Loops to knock out the next job. Let's go. All right, guys, we're at the second job. We're gonna be doing this driveway here with some oil stains in it. Man, these people got oil everywhere. Look at that, man. They got it all on the street. Who was doing donuts? <laughs> oh, man. I ain't doing that part, but uh, I'm going to make it 
see if I can get this any better for him. I'm gonna use the F9 double legal. I got some more stuff I can use. We're gonna try it on there and make it look the best we can. I told the guy that, you know, I don't guarantee all stains unless, you know, they're like really fresh. But I look like it's been there for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. All right, we're gonna clean it off first. Downstream the mix, clean it, see what we got left, and then um, do the, the grease a second. So now that we got the driveway cleaned up, of course that didn't come from me. <laughs> That's how the driveway is. <laughs> so now we can apply our degreaser onto the uh, spots, the old thing, and the agitated with a brush, let it sit, and um, fresh wash it, man. This is with cold water, man. So let's see how it works. Not promising no miracles. So I didn't have enough um, F9 double legal, so I did have some uh, Stampede Plus degreaser from uh, Power Wash, pressure washer products. <laughs> Sorry, pressure washer products. I had it for a while, so decided to use it. I had a whole five gallon bucket of it, man. So I put it on there straight, agitated it. I'm gonna let it sit for another 10 minutes. And whatever we get, we get, man. Like I said, oil stains are tricky. I'm not really into that. That's not what service I really do. As far as oil stain removal, it's just not my forte. But I attempt just for uh, content purposes, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and then I was just gonna rinse it off. This is the final product. I don't know, man. I mean, I ain't, like I said, I ain't doing perfection, but it looks definitely better. <laughs> I mean, obviously this, the stains are still there. Nothing I can't really do, but like I told him, it would lighten up. 
definitely wouldn't come up all the way. Take a look from the street. Don't look as bad as before. I'll put a picture up or maybe a little video on the corner so you guys can see what it looked like in the beginning. All right, we got one more three minutes away from this house, man. So see y'all when I get there. All right, man, we at the third job, final job for the day. <laughs> I get some crazy requests, man. So I do work for this uh, roofing company and um, <laughs> they call me for the weirdest things, man. Like roof tar, splatters and stuff like that. Last time I was here, the house back there with that white truck right there last week, couple of splatters on the wall, came out here, did it. Took me like mm -hmm, 20 minutes or less. Today, same thing here. Let me show you, let me show you what I'm here for. So basically all I'm here for is this right here on the wall. And <laughs> can't, even, can't even find them, man. It's like little splatters supposed to be one over here somewhere but there's uh there's one on a, like a couple on the driveway let me see like the customers try to clean it already i see some swirls but they got a couple little ones right here there's one right there one right there like so small man that's all i'm here for they should just get the whole driveway cleaned up because whoever did it last wasn't pink flamingo <laughs> man, I'm going to be in and out of here, man. All right, show you guys easy, easy way to get these uh, roof tar off. So I just wet the wall down. Use my, uh, my bottle. I broke the sprayer to it. So this is, um, some goo gone. I just put some on the rag. That's it, man. Nice and easy. I just went ahead and did the whole front porch. Got it cleaned up. Got the wall cleaned up right here. Did the top side of the driveway. I didn't do the whole thing because they didn't pay for the whole thing. They didn't ask for the whole thing. You know, all I can do is suggest it because it looks crazy like this. Maybe that'll force them to get it done. <laughs> but uh, I don't see any more um, on this house, any more tar. I had one spot up top I had to go get on my ladder, but that's all done with.